Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I got a brand new motor sitting here. Um, I have blown two motors now. The first one blew right away um, because I had not drilled these holes. It was just, it was completely stock. I just threw it in the bike and started riding it like hell. And that one blew like after two rides. Um, my second motor has lasted a couple months now and um, has been great. I've put probably 800 to 1,000 miles on it. And for like $150, $170 motor, um, I mean, what more can you really ask for from China? So uh, I learned on my first one that this needed to be vented. Um, and then I even added a little air intake. That worked great for a while. Um, and then I replaced the bearings on the last one. And that was great. Um, but this one, uh, since I blew that last one, this one I want to make it last even longer and see if I could bulletproof this one. So I found this on eBay for 26 bucks. I'll put a link in the description. That is going to dissipate some good heat. Um, I'm also going to be drilling the holes once again, but I'm going to be going larger this time. Pretty much as large as I can go. Um, previously I was trying to like not drill them too big because I did some dirt riding. I didn't want too much dust to get in there, but at this point I'm tired, uh, of blowing motors. So I'm going to do everything I can this time around and, uh, show you guys along the way. I had a couple guys request me do a video and at the time I, my motor was already in the bike and it was great. So I was like, oh, I can't, you know, if I need to do a video, I need a new motor. And then not even kidding, the next day the motor blew. So I was like, all right, perfect, perfect opportunity. So the plan is to cut this off. So you're gonna need a cutting wheel, smooth it out with this. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. There's three Phillips here that come apart and these two caps pop off. You're gonna have to take the sprocket off. The sprocket that it comes with is a different pitch um, than I run. I run a number 25 chain. And I love that chain. It's the same uh, pitch that comes stock on the razors. And a lot of guys upgrade them, and they and they do wheelies, and that's great. But I mean, I'm not I'm not doing anything too crazy, and I haven't had one break on me or any problems with it. So I'm gonna stick with the stock sprocket. So this one is reverse thread. Uh, so you actually have to tighten it per se in order to get that off. So we're gonna pull this off. I don't really care about messing this up too much because I'm not going to use this sprocket anyway. All right. So let's put these. Let's go there. So the best way to do it is a rubber mallet, the softest one. Just lightly tap, no rush, to break this. So I already loosened these a little bit in order. So I'm just trying to break the seal here. So let's continue. Let's take these out. These are just three Phillips. Could be using the drill right now just to make it a little bit easier, but... three screws another thing is um, these they stick out a lot and they kind of have to be flush because um, when you mount this on the MX 650 um, you have two of these that actually sit below that swing arm and this wants to sit flush the swing arm wants to it wants to slide perfectly in between the swing arms so what I what you do is you tighten these down right before the very end, uh, the at the very end, you know, you snug them down, and then I grind two of these down as slow as I can go while still being strong, and that's what I've had to do to get it to fit. When you buy the uh, the kits that a couple guys out there have, a couple companies out there have um, for these motors, <clears throat> they're already kind of in the. They countersink them. They drill these holes a little bit larger, which I could do. I could easily enlarge this hole. Just well, it looks like the phone dropped there. Um, so, like I was saying, I could easily enlarge this hole just maybe half the thickness of this aluminum, and then these could sink in, and I wouldn't have to grind them. I th actually think that's what I'm going to do this time. Um, it's kind of on the fly. I just thought of it, but yeah, I think I think we should just drill them out and countersink them. 
That way I don't have to grind them. My last one, uh, the last two, I had to grind in order for it to get to fit in between the swing arm. But yeah, let's do it different this time. So now that it's part, little tap, bam, that pops right out. And then you just hammer this a little bit lightly on both sides, pop that out. Let's go ahead and do that. All now. right, so once you get them apart, this slides right out. You pop these off. We're going to be putting better bearings on. I like the steel because, you know, it's inside of a motor. It gets extremely hot. And these are USA made, made by Penguin. I have a link for them. Uh, about four of them for nine bucks. So, got the new bearings on. Now it's time to drill the motor. Okay, I got these drilled out. One thing um, I'd like to add just as a little pointer is after you drill them on the back side, there's a lot of edges. So what I do is I just take a large flat screwdriver and I scrape and you would be surprised how much shavings right there just from that little scratch. So I would recommend doing this on both of them just to avoid extra metal shavings in, the, in your motor. Another thing is, now this one I might get blown up in the comments, um, but this is just something I'm doing. I don't know if it works or if it's, I'm not recommending you do it. This is just what I do. I hook this up here and then I'm going to run the drill and just lightly, it's a Brillo pad, and just shine this entire thing up. Then I'm gonna spray it down with electrical cleaner and wipe it really good with some uh, alcohol before putting it in. Um, I don't know if that does anything, but I'm just doing everything that comes to mind that could possibly uh, benefit. So that and that, uh, now let's just get it all together. Okay, we are putting it back together now. The holes are drilled, we got the new bearings in there. Everything's cleaned and shiny with the Brillo pad. Everything's blown out with the air compressor. And now uh, we are putting this back on. Uh, one thing you need to make sure you do is put this little washer, don't lose it, on the sprocket side when you're sandwiching these back together. All right. Okay, the motor is back together. One thing when putting these caps on after drilling them is uh, you want these two threaded holes to match up with the other side. You could actually put it on and have the holes like this versus here and you wouldn't realize it until you'd go to put the bike on. So yeah, these need to match up with these sides. Um, I would, the whole size for this, I went with this time is a 732. And then to countersink these two in order for these to fit in the swing arm, I used a 516. Just start really shallow and you could just keep playing with it until eventually you get it. So now it is time to tape off all the holes so no uh, shavings get inside. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bracket off of and mount this to cover it up. All right, here it is. We got the bearings, we got it drilled. One thing uh, you are gonna have to do is if you do countersink these, which I'd recommend you doing, it's gonna stick out on the ends. It's four threads. So if you just take these off initially, just count down four threads from the top. You can even do five just to be safe and then just grind it down and then it'll be nice and flush. There it is, time to install. Hopefully this heat sink is uh, good. This is a new for me, but time will tell. Okay, the bike is finished. I'll put it back together. Be a little speed run, slight downhill.